Hello, I'm going to show you a bit about Sketchpad or Sketchpad 5.1. You can start out by entering sketch.io, S K E T C H dot IO. Click on your language. You can also Google Sketchpad 5.1. This is a great web-based online drawing program. It's similar to Adobe Illustrator. It's pretty much free. You can download it for $4.95 to work on your Mac and PC. Then you can also work offline. Then you'll also be able to export images as JPEG, PDF, PNG, or SVG files. And you can get more complicated uh, things done. So anyway, here we are. This is the main screen. Over here are tools. I'm going to show you that first. There's some other options you have. The user guides down here. So click on tools and then these are the different tools you can choose from. So click over here. It seems to default to calligraphy. So these are the different tools. Tile brush, pencil, pen, paintbrush, line, path, arrow, sketchy, the eraser is here, mirror brush, calligraphy, streamer, crayon, the stamps are also here, spray paint, fur, web, and spirograph. So pick one. And then if you're using a Chromebook, you need to click um, with one finger and with your other finger, you can draw. If you're using um, web base, you could just click with your mouse. So to change the colors, click over here on the color where it says outline and you have a whole assortment of colors you can choose from. You can also use the dropper to click on a color you like or another area. So you can also have lineal, radial, oh, it's not working for this one, and different patterns. Okay, so let's see. There you go. I'm painting into the layer. There's other effects. You can click on this. There's all different effects. Try out the different ones to see what happens. That one might need fill. Some you have to fill the inside of the collar. Soft light's very soft. Let's go back to normal. You can also adjust the size of the brush. So if you want it very small and tiny, Move this, you click and hold it, move it to the left. If you want it big, move your cursor, move this to the right. Okay, so you can adjust that back and forth. Just click and draw with your finger or with the mouse. So let's see how these different brushes work. Whoa, that is cool. Pencil, pen, let's change the color. How about purple or violet? Paintbrush. So to change, you're just moving the cursor back. Click, pick, how about sketchy? Looks like a ghost. Let's click to change the color. Okay. And you can just add all kinds of cool stuff. There's so many options on this. You can have fun experimenting. Don't worry, you're not going to break it. 
see what different types of lines you can make. See if you can make at least 10 different types of lines. Whoa, looks like a flower. Okay, now, if I don't like that, I can go over here and click Undo. I'm changing that. Okay, let's try calligraphy. Let's change the color. How about yellow? And size. Let's make it smaller. And then some of them have different options. So here for calligraphy, you can change the angle. So it would be like left-handed or right-handed. Then thick. And then you can click with one finger and draw with the other. Or if you're using a mouse, just click and drag it. Okay, let's try another one. Let's try some different time, types of lines. How about wavy or curvy? a streamer. Let's try the crayon. Click on another color. Let's see if it'll let me do it. No. This is cool. So it's going to change as you draw it. How about if we do some hatches? And then how about if we do hatching and cross hatching? Some hatching. Let's add some cross hatching. And then we can do more to make a patch. So hatching, cross hatching, and then just add more and that will make a patch. Okay, let's pick another one about spray paint. Let's see if we can get some zigzag. How about some dots? Horizontal lines vertical lines, diagonal, let's see if I have 10, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, there's thin, here's thick, 10, got it, awesome, great job guys, have fun experimenting, see if you can make at least 10 types of lines using a sketch pad, 5.1, awesome.